So, we've just done three big days of thinking about now next with the and predictability, with the predictability training, and then uh, Anik kindly came and spoke to our Starship Community Service yesterday, and today she's spoken to paediatricians around the country. Um, yesterday made us really start to think about what this could look like within the DHB setting, and the things that are occurring to me is our real need currently is around some of the goal setting stuff. Um, and I would like to see, I think the way in to do this here would be a larger professional with families as well um, training. And the way I'm highlighting that way is not that I think professionals are more important, but just where I think that place is going to be to be able to get funding and actually launch this. Um, and then a smaller pilot of now next. Some of the issues we thought could be interesting to see in a DHB setting would be we have some younger children, much younger, like you know, we often pick up people at six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we pick up very culturally diverse families. Um, I think um, we have a real challenge that we're trying to solve within our own organisation currently about how that information, which actually sits in a completely different system over in Starship community, is actually known to your Starship doctors uh, and other staff over at, at Starship, which is a disconnect we are trying to solve and thinking about how, if we could be innovative with that communication, would be really good. Um, thinking about the communication board? Yeah. And we were just discussing, Anik had a great idea about a communication board, and maybe that could also be a way of thinking about concepts for families. I'd love to know what the underlying research around this is, but I would love families to be really empowered with that information of um, who, which is the important information and who needs to know it. Um, so, so for, to create a better partnership with the professional fa families, yeah. we need to uh, we need to add a little research piece so that families understand what are the questions that are important when I go and see each different professional. Yep. And how do I make sure that I communicate the right thing to, to them? To the right and, end, to and what are my them. communication needs as a parent? What information do I need? Mm -hmm from the end to plan that before you go into an appointment. Yes, exactly. What information should I good and I want to share and what information do I need so that I get to be able to have the outcomes yeah, that right. I need and is there a way that we can do that? So whether we could be part of that would fit really well within what we're trying to work on here at Starship at the moment. Um, and I think we are keen to make sure we do it as an evaluation piece that we actually put some evaluation into the beginning. I know you've got some details about that, which is great. Um, and I think um, the other communication hole that I'm really keen to work on, and I know I've um, got Julia partnering with this, is actually maybe that communication piece between health and education could be a really, you know, actually often more is the, because our, a lot of our families then get passed on to education or perhaps have a speech and language therapist in, from Ministry of Education and an occupational therapist working on equipment mm -hmm. in Starship community at the same time. Um, how do we communicate with them there as well? And that's something Julia and I have been sort of talking about. All that so once it. again, it might be a piece that the parents take responsibility for yep. rather than us trying to consolidate systems that... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>